Hey guys, this is Alvia, and I'm here in our cookie confessional with another video for you guys. So now it's my turn to sit and talk to you guys. Um, wasn't really sure what topic to pick for my first confessional with you guys. Um, I know that people had asked about the wild story, so that was an easy choice, but no one's really asked us for anything else specifically. I just went thought that I would go ahead and tell you guys about how Raymond and I first met. Apparently when we met, we each blew each other off at some point and then ended up falling back together. So let me give you a little background. Um, Raymond and I have been together. It's going to be nine years in August, which is a really long time. <laughs> That's a really long time. Um, also, Elijah is 12. So if you do the math there, you'll kind of figure out that I had a legend before I met Raymond. So that's also something that you guys may or may not be aware of, but it's the truth. Um, but we met for the first time ever before that. And it's a little, it's a story that's kind of embarrassing to me because the first time that we actually met, I don't remember it. <laughs> um, but I have it on Raymond's authority that this actually happened. And I, I don't, doubt it. So the story goes, we were in high school and we were having an earthquake drill. So for those of you who don't live in California or in states where earthquakes are not as big a deal, I don't know if this is just a California thing, but an earthquake drill is basically like a fire drill for earthquakes. You have an alarm, it says everybody meet in, a, in the designated earthquake area, whatever. Um, and the teacher in the whole class goes out with a tarp and sits out in a place with no buildings, so like the PE field or something like that. Um, because in case of an earthquake, if buildings start to fall, you don't want to be around any of that, basically, earthquake drill. So we had an earthquake drill that day. I was on A track in my high school, Raymond was on C track. And again, I don't know if that's a thing in other states. Um, basically, that means it's instead of having one calendar year, the school is broken up into tracks so that they can have kind of three sessions going at one time. I don't know. <laughs> Look it up if you have any more questions than that about it. But I was on A track, Raymond was on C track. We were both on at the same time. And during the earthquake drill, you're just kind of sitting out in the yard for however long the earthquake drill takes. They do like a search and rescue simulation, blah, blah. It's kind of a big deal. Um, so I was on the field sitting on the tarp with my boyfriend at the time, who is Elijah's dad. Um, I was playing my Pokemon game on my Nintendo SP, of course. I think at the time it was um, Leaf Green. But I was sitting there playing my game. Elijah's dad's friend came over, said hi. And Elijah's dad said, this is my girlfriend, Elvia. This is my, Elvia, this is my friend, Ray, from high school. <laughs> and according to Ray, I was looking at my game. I looked up and I was like, hey, what's up? <laughs> and, I, and I immediately went back down and continued playing. So I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry that that was our first ever interaction, Raymond, if you're watching this. Um, but I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that at all. Um, I get really into my games whenever I'm playing them. I get really into my games whenever I play them, so I don't, I don't at all doubt that that's what actually happened. Um, so I don't remember that. I do remember that that happened, but I don't remember him specifically. You know, because I was like, eh, eh, that's all I got. But apparently he remembered me, and according to him, his first thought was, wow she's really pretty what is she doing with this guy and <laughs> very flattering um but nothing happened uh that was the only time i remember meeting him in high school we were on different tracks we didn't have any of the same friends i never saw him again after that fast forward a few years later by the time i had already been born i was living with his dad i came home and there was a person in my room sitting at the foot of my bed, <laughs> um, playing video games. 
and I didn't know them. And I walk in and see this person sitting there. And then, and then after that, I see that Elijah's dad is sitting right there next to him. So I was like, oh, this must be one of his friends. Um, and I'm like, hey, I'm like, hey, or hello. I don't remember what I said, but I walked in. I did something to get their attention. They turn over to look at me. And then Raymond turns right back around <laughs> and continues to play his game. And at the time I was like, oh my God, he's so rude. He's so rude. I can't believe he's sitting here in my house and didn't even say hi to me. Um, but I would later learn that I did the exact same thing kind of to him. So he got away with it. Um, so that was my first time meeting him. I guess, I guess he had met Elijah's dad at the store and he was like, Hey, you want to come over to my house and play video games? And that's what happened. So of course I didn't remember meeting him before. But after that, we, we became friends and started talking. Um, and we continued to talk until, up until and through my separation from Elijah's dad. And then the rest is kind of history. He turned out to be a really cool guy and a really funny person, a really great friend. Um, if we had met in high school, you know, who knows what would have happened. Things happen for a reason. They happen the way they happen because they're meant to happen. You know, if you believe in that school of thought, which I kind of do because there's been a lot of crazy coincidences in my life of things happening at certain times that I feel like couldn't have worked at any other time. Um, and there's not really anything else to say about that. He, he was there through the tough times and he stuck around even though I already had a baby who, get, granted, is a great baby. <laughs> the easiest baby in the world to take care of um, and they had a lot in common they still have a lot in common it's kind of crazy how similar they are considering they're not related by blood um, but they're the best buds ever in the whole world and that makes me really happy and you know what else is there to say I fell in love and by the time Elijah was three he and I were together um, so it all worked out in the end and I have the ring to prove that. So, <laughs> so that's the story of how we met. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this confessional. Let me know. Let us know if you guys want to hear any other stories. It's kind of hard to pick and choose what you guys are interested in hearing about and not interested in hearing about. So if there's anything that you have questions about or would like to hear from us, let us know. Um, but until then, guys, we'll see you in the next confessional. Bye.